Yo, what is up, YouTube? How we doing? And you, this title, yes, this video is If you could only play one Mortal Kombat game for the rest of your life, which one would you choose? And I asked that question on Twitter and it got a pretty huge response 262,000 views. Uh, even Ed Boone himself uh, talked about my tweet and uh, it was pretty awesome. Um, to see him enjoy it you know um and i think it was cool because like I'm, let's be real if he asked then people would just spam him with character requests and terrible things so I'm, i think it was kind of cool that how i was able to do it and then he, we can get like genuine responses without people being like give me you know hornbuckle put in hornbuckle put in this character put in that character right there's always yeah you know because he genuinely would like to have conversations about this but um yeah and the answers were surprising it was pretty much all over deception showed up a lot there was trilogy um a lot of different lots of um a lot of trilogy some lots of armageddon and then like oh my god there was so many responses shaolin monks you know some mk2s and I thought about to myself, self, what would you choose? And to be honest, that's a very tough question. And um, I really have to think about it, but it's between four Mortal Kombat games. Um, you know, MK2, of course, it's literally my favorite. It's what got me into fighting games. You know, like Street Fighter intrigued me. Mortal Kombat 1 was intriguing, but MK2 just made me really want to get into fighting games. And I was obsessed with the game. It was so much better than 1. Oh, hey, we do the intro again. It's so nice. You know, there's uh, MK2. I, and I, I just got so good at it as a kid. I learned to cheese it. You know, here's me. I play it all the time on my birthday. I like to speed run. Sometimes when I'm just chilling, I like to go through this, you know, arcade mode with Jax and do my, um, pardon my yawn. <sighs> pardon my yawn. Um, I'm doing this video kind of late, so I apologize if I'm not like high energy. Um, but yeah, like I said, I, there's times where I just, you know, go on my arcade one up or I do it on, um, on, um, whatchamacallit, I do it on uh, Fightcade, and I just love going through the arcade mode. It's a, it's a lot of fun to me. I have to cheese it because it's notoriously some of the cheesiest AI in fighting games. So you can see here me doing my exploit to um, beat it, but of course, sometimes the computer uh, you know, wants to be a, a punk, but I'll get it. Watch this. Okay, a little bit of, come on. Nope, gotta let him throw me. I'll get this though. We're sidetracked, but I, I even have a lot of fun. Missed the jump kick. Yeah, I'll get him. See, now he's really stuck, and I'll do it. But um, yeah, there's something about MK2 I loved, and I could play forever. Um, I think I, I love the fatalities, the pit fatalities. And um, here's the thing to me, playing the next game. UMK3 is a lot more fun to play gameplay wise but the spirit of MK2 I, li I like the spirit of MK2 more um, I like the fatalities in MK2 more <laughs> oh my god I'm sorry okay there's little scheduling little something that's coming up in life that I had to make this video late that's a whole nother story maybe i'll tell you guys but right now what you're watching is detroit balling versus outward warrior some of the best mk unk3 players around and i've fought you detroit balling like you know like 20 30 times i haven't been able to beat them once but you know what i still have a lot of fun but umk3's gameplay is just so awesome so fast paced the combos are awesome as you can see here ermac just going in and um Kano, one of my boys, but my goodness, UMK3, 
uh, and UMK3 smoke and um, human smoke, robot smoke, amazing to play. Ermac, I mean, you can just see what's going on here is insane. So it's really tough if I had to choose between UMK3 and MK2. MK2 to me is, is like my comfort game. I, I have so much fun playing no matter how many times I'll, I'll do an arcade run. It's a lot of fun. Uh, I love the fatalities. UMK3 is great, like gameplay wise, a thousand percent. It's so fun, so fast paced running, just nasty combos. Boom, as, as you can see right there. Fantastic. Now you're saying, hey, Kenny, why not Trilogy? Why not Trilogy? And to me, Trilogy is great, but Trilogy to me is kind of like MK Mugen. It's, it's more Mugen. It's, it doesn't like, well, I know a, a lot of Trilogy fans are going to get angry at me, but depends. If you play the PlayStation Trilogy, there's not the loading. You know, there's a lot of cool things about Trilogy, you know, like playing the bosses, like every character being playable. But to me, it's more like a Mugen and it just doesn't feel as polished as uh, UMK3. And it's true because, you know, most people use UMK3 as a standard. But don't get me wrong, Trilogy is a lot of fun. But to me... Damn! Okay, sorry! There it is. Um, yeah, I don't know. So I, I couldn't put Trilogy on that list. Trilogy is cool. And it's wild, and I think that's why a lot of people love it. And some people will love it because, dude, it's just a crazy Mugen Mortal Kombat. And God bless you. But for me, it's literally between, you know, MK2 and UMK3. And the next two, which is like equal, is MK9. MK9, my God. That, that was me in my prime. When MK9 came out i was in my prime i got bars but i was around 2000 wins and my top to 250 losses and my molina was just disgusting and there was just man it just felt good and then me and steve would team up and we would do we take um we do tag So good. I'm so sorry. I'm hoping this video is not making you tired. I still got energy. But anyways, and that's me and Steve fighting. But man, MK9, god dang, I was so good. And MK9, I love it. MK9 feels like MK2 and UM and UMK3 having a baby. There's no running, but the movement was so fast. Dodging, I mean, uh, dashing was fantastic. It was it's just amazing. I love the speed of the game. It gives me the same thing of like UMK3 where there's a decision being made almost at all times and it's just so great. Uh, and I I have a soft spot on it because it's just, it did the, the story mode is fantastic. Molina is godlike in this game and it's just fun. And I was a beast, not to toot my own horn, but I'm gonna toot my own horn because God damn it, I, I, I absolutely love this game. I could do things like instant air size. A lot of the game felt really fun and fluid. So it, it's, it's gonna be very tough to choose between this and then Mortal Kombat X. I wasn't as good um yeah i mean i i wasn't as good as i was in nine but my god the game was still fun molina was a blast the game was even f you know just even faster with the run button just crazy combos fast paced uh, you're making two decisions in every second and it was and molina was a beast and i had a blast and i loved two of her variations I was not good enough. Oh, well, I didn't have the execution to do a thorough. Now you see a thorough players and God dang, they are beasts. And so I played two out of the three. And um, yeah, but man, I, and I just, ah, God, it was just, it was so good. 
The story mode was great. I um, I just had a blast. The, the guest characters are some of the best ever, even though I didn't play a lot of them, like having Predator, having Alien just in the game is amazing. Triborg, the game is... It is, I, it's almost impossible for me to choose, but I, uh, in this video, I'll have to choose. I can only play one. I'm stuck in an island, and I can only play one for the rest of my life. I'm not even stuck in an island. Let's, let's put it like this. You can only play one Mortal Kombat for the rest of your life, but wh whatever you choose, it's popping. Like, online is popping. And uh, so that would even include the old game. So let's just say... Hey, I love playing MK2 or whatever your MK and whatever the fun reason, like, right? It's so tough because MKX had, you know, they fixed the net code issues and MK9 had some big net code issues. It has, the, the net code was so wild that when I played offline, I barely knew how to play because my timing was all off, you know, based off um, being an online warrior. But, if I had to make a decision, let's just see. It's tough. I, I, you know, MK2, I just play that out of the blue for no reason. Same thing with the UMK3, the, the, just me being able to do the ladders is a lot of fun. Man. I might, okay, I'm gonna try to narrow it down. MK2 is the most influential game for me in the world. <laughs> you know, besides Pac-Man, because there would be no Kenny who's in love with fighting games and want to be good and put on a show without MK2. And then UMK3 just continues that. I would have to go so far, between MK2 and UMK3, I probably have to go UMK3 because I still do like speed running it or, you know, doing the towers. And I think the bosses are more fun to fight in UMK3. And it's more fun to fight other people. So, UMK3 will have to battle whichever game I choose between X and 9. I mean, X, I mean, MK9 has Freddy Krueger. Hey, that's awesome. But geez Louise, X has so many other. If I had to, I would probably put MK9 over X. And let's just say I can go back to the the to to its prime. Yeah, no, I was my Molina was a problem in that game, and uh, yeah, I used to have the hate mail to prove to prove it. So it would have to be a battle between UMK3 and U and uh, MK9. I love X. It is so hard. I love these games basically equally, to be honest. I mean, it's just basically these are the four MKs I could play for the rest of my life. Um, and I probably, and I absolutely will. I actually will keep playing MK9, keep playing MKX, um, you know, Mortal Kombat 2 and UMK3. Now one can only hope we get a remaster of these, man. Like a remaster of 9 that comes with 1, 2, and 3. Yeah. Also, you know, everyone, hey, a lot of Shaolin Monk enjoyers in there. Shaolin Monk was a lot of fun. Shout out to you guys. But I'm going to go with MK9 as the winner between which one would I of the two I mean MK9 it was just fast paced amazing combos uh, some just incredibly broken stuff there's me versus Steve right now um, 2v2 mode which was a blast you know, me and Steve would take on other teams. We take on single players, all the single players. But yeah, so we'd have to go between UMK3 versus MK9. And 
I'm going to have to go with MK9. I think if I could only play one Mortal Kombat for the rest of my life and there was a great scene and I could play lots of people and I could still have fun doing the, the, the story mode, doing the arcade towers, I would have to go MK9. I, I really love the designs of the characters. I mean, Melina was great you know, sexy Molina, but you know, I played a lot of the other ones, but that, that's not here nor there. It's just, I don't know. I was so much better. I was so good because Molina's down four was broken as hell, but there were some people who knew how to get around it, but yeah, I'm going to have to go. MK nine is the MK. I could play forever. Now that I've made my choice, what, would be yours i'm asking you guys in the comments let's just say you can only take one with you and to me that's mk9 but anyways guys that's gonna be it for the video i hope you guys enjoyed it to kind of learn like hey what would i choose right because i didn't really get to choose that answer i didn't really say the answer because it's it was tough it was not an easy choice. Um, yeah, I mean, like, X, 2, 3, my top four MKs, and I love them like my children. <laughs> but you have to ask me, like, which one of your children would you want to live? Would you want to take with you play forever? While the other children... <laughs> yeah, no, but absolutely, MK9 is just so much fun. I, I wish... Um, mk1 right now that you know mk1 the remake or whatever could move just about as fast oh my god chat i need you to see this really quick wait and just see what mk9's um i guess i would say input system it was so much more fluid because you're going to see me here doing instant air fireballs so i can't do this in the new mk it's so strict but you can see me right there you know, just get a couple inches off the ground and do some instant air fireballs. It's awesome. But now the input system is so strict in the new MKs. It's just kind of, it's kind of rough. And that's why I like um, MK9. It was, it, it felt a little bit more fluid. Like the input system wasn't so strict. And some of the newer MKs, it's very strict. So, yeah. But anyways, guys. Let me know in the comments what's your one MK that you would play forever. Also, guys, if you can like, comment, and subscribe. If you haven't yet, I would greatly appreciate it. It helps the channel out immensely. Hope you guys have a good one, and I'll see you next time. Peace.